everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged and our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google, and what's the hot topic for the day or the week. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, to comment and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell that way every time I upload a video you'll be the first one to see it so there's many reports that's coming out in regards to Kanye and Adidas once again they're constantly trying to keep his name in their mouth and they are struggling financially it's basically saying Adidas credits the downgrade of the SNP as the demise of Kanye West partnership but what many people aren't realizing they're not speaking on what they did to him they were actually copying his items Walmart allegedly was selling his items looked very similar to, to Yeezy or slides or his shoes and you have Adidas who is working with Kanye that was trying to sell items for almost half the cost almost not even half the cost and they were actually taking his items and selling it underneath him now, mind you, if an item was $150 or $250, Adidas was trying to sell an item for $50 or $80 so they could pocket that money themselves. Excuse me? Every contract he has has to be a no-compete clause. You can't copy my designs. He had to get out of that contract because they were going to keep allegedly, allegedly, taking money from him and taking his ideas and then reducing the price, which then cuts into his bottom line. So what else was he supposed to do? Now, mind you, the other video I did in regards to it, he was basically saying that someone was trying to take his trademark slash his IP away from him and his, his children. Hello. And allegedly there was people and attorneys that were involved in that. He didn't mention which attorneys. So all that's alleged. I don't know if that truly happened, but last year going through a divorce, people stealing from him, people copying his ideas and concept. You won't know who else is going to stay in that. So mind you, if he was supposed to get, I'll make a, uh, I'll make an instance. If he was supposed to get one or 2 billion, it might've cut in half because they're copying his ideas versus something that he's selling for 150 or 250 or 200. They're trying to sell the same almost exact item for 50 or $80. You can't do that. You can't compete with your person that you're getting designs from. So I don't blame Kanye for cutting ties with them. It's not okay. Adidas had to have known that he wasn't going to be okay with it. There's no way. There's no way. And then, mind you, Adidas has said that they were going to remove the Yeezy name from the shoe and then come out with a... a, 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 a a concept as of January 1st or 2nd oh wait for it people were like we're not buying we're not okay with his controversial statements in regards to cultures of race we get it and I'm not promoting it I don't agree with it he has to learn to not go into stating things about different cultures and race period we've all experienced it and it's a sad thing but I stay on top of what is trending, what is going on. So Adidas is having financial problems. They didn't cut ties with him or turn in, terminate him. He was already trying to be terminated because of them trying to allegedly copy his designs and almost basically make them their own. So the biggest thing is, this is a lesson learned. In regards to when you go into contracts, you have to make sure people this is not contract advice just just we're just brainstorming you have to make sure that whoever you're working with there's like no compete laws for like 10 or 20 years because what's trending now may not be trending in 10 or 20 years but that's the biggest thing they knew 
that he wasn't going to be okay with that because allegedly he won the lawsuit allegedly in regards to what Walmart was trying to do. So there's all these places that's trying to knock off people's items because people are trying to sell slides that look similar to what Kanye was selling, trying to sell Yeezys of what he was trying to do. So it's concerning that I don't blame him for removing himself from a company that he was helped and they made millions. Now, allegedly, they're losing billions and billions. That's sad. In one of the articles, it said that Adidas for this year, for 2023, could almost lose $1.2 billion because there's items stuck on the shelves. Now they're trying to see if they can refurbish those items and make them into allegedly something else. Who knows what they're going to do or how they're going to do it. But the biggest thing is they knew as they were copying styles, colors, and remember they were saying, we own all that. How is it that you own it? He worked for Adidas and Adidas had a contract with him. How are they trying to take that and say, we own all of that? We own the colors, the palettes, we own the style, all of that. So well wishes. Lesson learned for young adults. You go into contracts, make sure whatever that contract is, you and your attorney, not legal advice either, you and your attorney sit down and say, this is what I need, this is what I want, and this is what's going to protect me in the future. Lesson learned. Music people have concerns with contracts too. You know what I'm saying? So well wishes to Kanye. Adidas is allegedly losing money, and because of their saying they terminated, I feel like Kanye allegedly walked away and was like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not letting you or Gap trying to tell me what to do. Many people didn't like the Gap thing either in regards to him putting items in bags, and they were on the floor, but the biggest thing is you can't tell Gap how to style or you know do the showroom that's their company. That's something that they always have had a certain standard. So they were bumping heads too. A gap in Adidas bumping heads, bumping heads with Adidas. The biggest thing is he has to be able to do his own thing, his own pop-up shops, his own everything. People will come to his, you know, and, and whether he, whether they even have the Yeezy name. So that's the biggest thing. I think it's a learning lesson for young adults when you go in to understand what you're getting into and who you're dealing with. And I think a lot of people, and also in regards to Adidas deals with Balenciaga. So people weren't dealing with Balenciaga. So it's not just on Kanye. It's not just on Kanye. One minute he's upset with Balenciaga and saying this and that. And then he was shopping at Balenciaga and people were saying he must have had a credit. And they were kind of laughing about that, but it's not a laughing situation about the ad, about what they were doing and promoting and showing and selling on their website. I keep saying the same thing because I think people just think it was about the ad and it wasn't. Well wishes in regards to Adidas and them figuring it out. They have to figure it out on their own and not try to utilize him or anything. But well wishes to Kanye. Let's see if him and Bianca come up with a different idea, a different concept. What will they do? Will they have different pop-up shops, you know, and focus on different things in maybe 2024? But the biggest thing is he has a great person that's next to him that can help him with designs, concepts. She's very smart and intelligent. She's able to assist him and they can assist each other. Normally, Kanye has people looking up to him. You know what I'm saying? And he's supposed to be the driving force. So the biggest thing is him and Bianca were just spotted out getting gas. They, you know, people were saying, oh, is she pumping the gas? I think he was just circling to make sure they were good and nobody wasn't going to try and do anything, you know, weird. But yeah, you know, they got to stop and get gas. That's not something we normally seen him and Kim do. I think the private drivers or people were doing things, but now they're out and about just living their lives. If they are a married couple, they're trying to enjoy themselves, the honeymoon stage. You see, they don't really seek media attention, media views, not doing interviews. They're not even saying nothing on Instagram, TikTok, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they're just living their life, minding their own business. Everyone, focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be around people that's loving, kind, and strong, and mind, body, soul, and spirit. Be around people that support you. Be around people, if, if you see that other people aren't treating other people right, 
watch out. You're, you're next in line. Be careful. So I'm happy that Kanye has someone in his corner that can love, assist, and they can just have fun and enjoy each other's company. And not they're not inundated with trying to get media attention, media views, or manipulate the media. And I'm wondering how Kanye feels about how Kim is with the children, how the kids are more in media, how he feels about that. Because, of course, of their media, people are talking about it. And if she puts them in the forefront, people are speaking on it. So does he feel a way? Does he feel a way? Thanks for tuning in. Everyone have a great day.